Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video, we're taking a look at Windows 10 version 22H2, which has just entered the release preview channel. This video is going to be a little different than any other what's new YouTube video you've probably seen, because I'm going to sum it up right now. There are no new changes in Windows 10 22H2. There's not a change log, there, there's literally nothing. The only new thing in 22H2 is the fact that it says 22H2. Other than that, everything else is exactly the same as 21H2 because Microsoft is focusing all of their development efforts on Windows 11. And with that being said, this is basically going to be comparing the speed and performance of Windows 10 22H2 to Windows 10 21H2 because th there's literally no new features. So I have a Windows 21H2 VM already and ready to go. So the first test we're gonna perform is actually just a regular boot up test. So just for reference, these machines have two gigabytes of memory. They have an Intel Core i7 10700K, an NVMe SSD as a disk. So let's go ahead and shut them down and I will be timing them to see how quick that they boot up. So first we're gonna start with 21H2 and it's going to go as soon as I click the OK button. So three, two, one, and we're off. And I lied, we have to click yes, and again, three, two, one. And we're gonna count this as soon as it gets to the desktop, not when it's just welcoming. So to the desktop, 24 seconds, okay? That's really not bad. Let's try 22H2. I would assume it's gonna be exactly the same because literally nothing changed. So going from the moment we hit okay, three, two, one. Never mind. once again, gotta click yes, three, two, one. So 24 seconds is the time to beat for Windows 10 22H2. Um, I'm really disappointed that there's no new features in this version. I'd think that they'd bring something to 22H2, but they didn't. I really wish that they did make some changes, and we are in the desktop at 19 seconds. So it did shave 5 seconds off of our boot up time, which actually isn't bad. There really is no real good way to do this. Um, so let's just kind of navigate around the UI a little bit and just compare the two. I mean, I'm sure th those feel the exact same. So there's ultimately really no changes in this version of Windows. Um, we have that quote new quote top bar and settings, which in some Windows installs, it's enabled, but in some, it's not. I'm really confused about that. Um, system about, yeah, we can see 22H2. The Windows Feature Experience Pack, I'm actually curious to see if that is the same as 21H2. Go to System, About, I'm pretty sure 4180, 4180, those are the exact same. Wow. So Microsoft really has just changed nothing. Um, in terms of idle RAM usage, um, we'll take a look, performance, 1.1 gigs, take a look here. 1.0 gigs although it this is using more cpu i'm not really sure why i don't have any background tasks running that is actually kind of interesting but okay so this really begs the question why did microsoft even bother releasing a 22h2 because there's there's no point you could have just kept servicing 21h1 until the end of support i really can't answer that i'm not sure why they would do this to themselves um, in terms of storage. Okay, 22H2 uses more storage than 21H2. Uh, 37 gigs free on 22, 39.1 on 21. Okay, so it uses way less storage. So obviously Windows 11 22H2 is going to come out later this year. I've already done a video on that. However, moving forward, it's rumored that Windows is going to get a new update every three years, kind of similar to what macOS does. So we're expecting Windows 12 in 2024-2025. What's going to happen to Windows 10? Because if it comes out in 2024, are they just going to keep servicing 22H2 or what? There's really no point in upgrading the 22H2 unless you really want to see that 22 in the beginning. I mean, they are purely identical operating systems the only thing like i said is different is that that number and even if you go on the internet and we try to find a change log you can't find one because there's not a change log 
if we go to Microsoft's official insider page, it literally just says we released it. Have fun. There you go. No change log. Logs.windows.com. And we can literally see. Bam. The first preview build is literally. Th this is it. There's no change log. I'm extremely disappointed that there's. You'd think that they'd change something. I know that I've covered Windows versions before. It's like there's three changes. But that's okay. But there's nothing here. And so with that being said, this was the disappointing Windows 10 22H2. Literally nothing is new. It is a little bit faster, although that could have been just environmental thing. It could have just been one VM was already running and the other one wasn't. I don't know, but I'm really disappointed. Um, so yeah, again, there's really no point to upgrade. If you're on 21H2, you can stay there if you want. There's really no benefit. It's literally a name change. That is it. So if you like the video, make sure to like it and subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos. And I promise most videos are more entertaining than this. This was just an example of Microsoft being Microsoft and not changing anything. Typically, OS reviews have way more to take a look at. I'll see you all in the next one.